Okay, we have a, we have a warning came up the CNC stop today, and we get the the overload in axis X1 and XS1. And when we come down here and we look at the measurement in the X axis, it's 1626.15. And then we go to XS1, it's at 1625.03. Those numbers need to match uh, to within like a 0.01 dimension and so is how is what's happened is the motors come out of alignment uh that that run in the x-axis i'm going to show you how to pull that motor out and make that and make that adjustment okay on the this is the xs1 motor on the bottom of it right here there's an allen wrench that we're going to take out and there's a coupling inside there that we're going to loosen up okay inside of that that hole there's an allen wrench that we have to get to and if you you move the you move the carriage. It takes a little bit of effort. But you move the carriage, and it will it'll adjust that. So you want to get that lined up in the hole. See so you see that in the hole now, and we're gonna loosen that. We're gonna take it out. We're just gonna loosen it a little bit. Okay. Now that we have this this coupling loose, we're gonna remove. There's four bolts that hold the motor on here. We're gonna remove that, and we're gonna gently pull that out. We don't want it to hang, or we want to be careful with it. We're gonna pull it out and that's how we'll get it out to have access to the shaft. Okay, now that we have the motor out, we can turn the shaft and to, when we have control power to it, the motor will be locked. And so to get the motor to turn freely, we're gonna hit the E-stop. We're gonna hit the E-stop over here and that releases the motor to be turned. We can then turn the motor and that will adjust this number right here. And we want to get it within uh, a 0.2 of the actual size. When we've got it to where we're going to do, we're going to restore control power by hitting the white button. Or what are we doing? We're going to hit the, clear the e-stop, hit power, and then go stop, reset, clear again. Boom, boom boom and now the motor is locked and won't turn so that we can reinstall it and have it stay in place okay with control power on so the motor doesn't turn we've reinserted the motor and tightened down the motor bolts and now we're going to go underneath and we're just going to repeat that process we're going to tighten this shaft back up here and then put our cover back in and we should be in good shape okay when you're done you're going to rehome the machine and in this scenario, we're 393.18 to 393.38 within 0.2 of a millimeter. Uh, that's uh, within tolerance and it should run fine from there.